ganador de mil batallas, un verdadero guerrero. And I'm just saying, this is probably what your underwears is gonna look like after eating a five layer beefy burrito from Taco Bell. Yeah, that's the only other explanation I can think of for somebody underwears that look this fucking desecrated, man. It look like somebody dropped bombs in this nigga's drawers. That's right, look like bombs over fucking Baghdad. Come on, man, come on. Ain't no kind of way, boy. That boy, look, somebody must have nuked his underwear. That's the only thing I can think of right there. I would say it was time for him to buy some underwears about 20 years ago. The motherfuckers is ancient. Like, what are you holding up? I don't think that he understands the definition of underwear. It means support. You ain't supporting shit with those motherfuckers on. Your ass out. That's all I'm saying. Your cheeks is in the wind. That's right. Ain't nothing catching shit back there, homeboy. Yeah, man, you just got an elastic band around your ass at this point. That's right. That must be Calvin Klein's first fucking pair right there. They don't cost that much, man. I don't care what kind of budget you own. Underwear should always be in your budget. This man lost 85% of his underwear. What the fuck are you even washing at this point? Why are you even wearing underwear at this point? I mean, you got 20% on your ass. That's all that's left of these underwears is 20%. I'm just saying at this point, bro, just go ahead and go commando. What's even mind boggling is this man's been washing these drawers for so long. You know what I'm saying? Just give it up. It was even more mind boggling is he's got the nerve to hang them up. You don't care nothing about what your neighbors think. I'm just saying, I know you ain't supposed to be worrying about what everybody think, but God damn, I mean, sometimes you gotta, you, you, you gotta worry. 